Good afternoon, Sean Patterson here for Vessi Seeds. I'm joined today by seed manager Angus Mellish. Now Angus, I'm looking to start a garden. I'm looking to purchase some flower and vegetable seed. Now, I find the whole process a little bit confusing and I'm wondering if you could clear some things up for me. I'm noticing that there's the seeds are labeled differently, that there's open pollinated and heirloom seeds, and I'm wondering if you could explain the difference between the two. Sure. So there's a few different terms that you'll see on packages like hybrid, open pollinated, and heirloom, and they all have to do with the way the varieties were developed. Okay. Um, typically, heirloom is something you'll see on varieties that are, these are older varieties that have been handed down over time, which is why they've been given the name heirloom. Okay. So typically these are varieties that are more than 70 or 80 years old, and all heirloom varieties are open pollinated. Okay. Um, another type of seed I've noticed is called hybrid. Now, could you explain that a little bit? Sure. Um, so there's a couple of different ways a variety can be developed. One is as an open pollinated and the other mm -hmm. is, is as a hybrid. Okay. I like to think of open pollinated like a breed of animals, like Holstein cows. You know, okay. They're all black and white. Uh, they are all produce milk, but you know, some are bigger and taller. Their spots are in different places. Mm -hmm. But uh, and if you have two Holsteins, you end up with Holstein calves. So, there's variability within the population, but they're all pretty similar. So to develop a hybrid, you need to have two parents that they always go back to. So parent A, maybe a, let's talk about sweet corn. Okay. So one parent variety has is really sweet and uh, tall, while another variety is not as sweet, but it germinates well in cold soil and has good disease resistance. So what happens is if you cross those two, you end up with the F1 hybrid, uh, which has good flavor, disease resistance, is nice and tall, okay. and performs well in cool soil. Angus, you've explained the differences between the seed types. Now I'm just wondering, using hybrid seeds, what would be the advantages? So typically hybrid seeds, because they're the newer, more improved varieties, in a lot of cases they have better disease resistance, which is really great for a home gardener. That means less problems as far as with, you know, well, less problems with disease. You're going to end up with a much better quality crop. They're more consistent, okay. uh, which is a bit of an advantage for a home gardener. Um, and in a lot of cases, they're the better tasting ones. Also, they have, in a lot of cases, they're more vigorous than the open pollinated types. Okay. So for a home gardener, you know, they have a lot of advantages and have more of a chance of success in your garden. Now, I guess I have hybrid sunflower seeds and I grew the sunflowers this year. I would like to save the seeds to grow again next year. Is that something that I'm able to do? For sure. You could take those seeds out of the sunflower and plant them. They're going to grow next year, but they're not going to be as nice and consistent as the hybrid parent. Okay. You're going to end up some that will be just like the hybrid parent and some that will have some of the bad traits of one of the parents or grandparents rather, and some of them they'll have the better traits of the grandparents. So you'll end up with a much more uneven stand. So, I mean, it all depends on how concerned you are with that consistency. Yeah. Well, thanks very much for joining us today, Angus. I feel a lot more confident that now I'll be able to get the seeds that I need for starting my garden. Uh, for more great gardening tips, please join us every week and subscribe to our YouTube channel.